earlier we walked through finding um, reads and putting them in the selected library box. But before you can assemble, and this button has to turn blue before you can assemble, you have some other decisions to make. So in this video, we're going to talk about selecting the parameters for your assembly and submitting the job. The information icon here gives you additional information about everything that you need to do in this box. But first, let's talk about the assembly strategy. So I click on the down arrow here, and you can see that there are a number of strategies that you can use to assemble your data. If you have auto selected, it means that you're allowing the Patrick assemble to, assembler to choose the best strategy. Let's talk about Unicycler. Unicycler is an assembly pipeline that can assemble Illumina only read, set, read sets where it functions as a spade optimizer. It can also assemble long read only sets like from PacBio or Nanopore where it runs a mini ASM plus RACON pipeline. For the best possible assemblies, if you had this option, you could give it both Illumina reads and long reads, and it will create a hybrid assembly. So if you have both of those, you should use Unicycler. Unicycler builds an initial assembly graph from short reads using the de novo assembler and then uses a novel semi-global aligner to align long reads to it. Spades. Spades has been around for a while now, and it's an assemble that, assembler that's designed to assemble small genomes, such as those from bacteria. It uses a multi-sized multi brewing graph to guide assembly. Canoe is a long read assembler, which works on both third and fourth generation sequencing reads. It supports nanopore sequencing, has depth of coverage requirements, and improves assembly continuity. It was designed for high noise single model sequencing, such as the PacBio RS2 SQL or the Oxford Nanopore Minion. The Metaspade software combines new algorithmic ideas with proven solutions from the Spades toolkit to address various challenges of metagenomic assembly. So you want to use Metaspades for metagenomic assembly, Unicycler for hybrid. Plasmids. Plasmids are stably maintained extra chromosomal genetic elements that replicate independently from the host's chromosomes. The plasmid spades algorithm and software tool for assembling plasmids from whole genome sequencing data and benchmark its performance on a diverse set of bacterial genomes. So if you have plasmid data, try plasmid spades. Or if you have a whole genome sequence that you think plasmids are included in, I might submit the whole genome using auto, and then also submit a separate assembly with plasmid spades to see if it would have any luck at pulling that plasmid out. So MDA is something that you use for single cells. This is something that spades has developed, and we are getting more and more of these um, sequences from single cell isolates. And so this is a specific recipe generated for those. And after all that talk, we're just going to go with auto here. Now you need to create an output folder for your assembly. If you know, if you have one in mind, once again, you can uh, click on the down arrow and see the ones you most recently created or you could click on the folder and create a new, a new folder if you want to. But I don't want to do that. I'm just going to put this in my test folder. And then you need a name for your output file. And so we could just submit that, copy and paste that, just so I know what 
um, I'm calling it. And so at this point, you notice that this turns blue and it's ready to submit an assembly. But let's click on the advanced button and see what we can find there. Okay, and you can see that there are several options under advanced. You can ask it to trim reads prior to assembly. So if you wanted to do that, you'd click on the down arrow and then you'd select true. The function that Patrick uses for trimming is called trim galore. Now let's talk about rack on or pylon iterations. Both rack on and pylon take the contigs and the reads map to those contigs and it looks for discrepancies between the assembly and the majority of the reads. Where there is a discrepancy, rack on or pylon will correctly assemble the reads if the majority of the reads call for that. Rack on is for long reads like PacBio or Nanopore, and pylon is for the shorter reads like Illumina or Ion Torrent. Once the assembly has been corrected with the reads, it's still possible to do another iteration to further improve the assembly, but each one takes time. Right now we have the default set for two of each. So if you had a hybrid or um, just short reads or long reads. Next we have minimum contact length and minimum contact coverage. You can adjust the numbers up and down using these up and down arrows. But the default for the minimum contact length is 300 and for coverage is five. So once you're ready to assemble, you click the assemble box and your assembly job has been submitted.